Welcome to yet another Power BI video. In this video, we shall see how to combine rows in Power Query. This video has been created based on a post in the Power BI community. Let's look at the example. On your screens, you can see the Power Query editor with a table and two columns, customer ID and address. You may notice that there are two rows for each customer ID with two different addresses. We are expected to combine these two rows into a single row with an additional column for the second address. Let's see how we can achieve this. The first step would be to go to the Home tab and click on the Group By option. In this dialog box, we can see two options, Basic and Advanced. Well, the Basic option is selected by default. We shall continue with that. And the column that is selected here is the Custom ID. In the new column name, let's type the same name as this column, Address. In the Operation, let's select the Max function. And in the column, let's select Address. Click on OK. You can look at the query here, table.group. The maximum address has been selected or the second address has been selected in each case. But what we want is both the addresses. So we are going to get both the addresses in one column, separating them using a comma. And after that, we will split it into two columns based on the comma delimiter. For that, we have to edit this query. Let's edit list.max to text.combine. Type a comma and the delimiter would be within double quotes, comma. The text.combine combines both the text values in the address column separated by a comma. Let's press enter. You may notice that the addresses in two rows have been combined separated by a comma. We are expected to create a separate column for the second address. So we have to split this column at the delimiter comma. For splitting the column based on the delimiter, we shall use the split column functionality under the Home tab. Let's click on Split Column and select the option by delimiter. In this dialog box, we have to specify the delimiter. By default, comma is selected. Let's go ahead with that. We can select either the leftmost delimiter or each occurrence of the delimiter. Click on OK. We can see that the address column has been split into two columns, address 1 and address 2. To recap, the first step was to go to the Home tab and use the Group By option. When you click on Group By, you see two possibilities, Basic and Advanced. We use the Basic. In this box, we had selected Customer ID. Under the new column name, we typed Address. In the operation, we selected Max. In the column, we selected the Address column, clicked on OK. In the Power Query Editor, we edited list.max and changed it to text.combine and added the comma delimiter. The result was a single row for each customer ID with the addresses combined using a comma delimiter. Then under the Home tab, we clicked on Split Column and selected by delimiter and specified the delimiter as a comma. And when we clicked on OK, the address column was split into two with each address in separate columns. Hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. Our channel has a lot of useful content. Please subscribe to our channel and help us take the number of subscribers to the 1000 mark. While subscribing, please remember to click on the bell icon and to select the all option so that you shall receive notifications as soon as we upload new content in our channel. We thank all the subscribers and viewers for their continued patronage and support. See you again with yet another video. Have a great day.